Welcome back to the Sunday Morning Fishing Show. Today's episode, we're going for some channel catfish. Now, guys, these things eat pretty much anything that fits in their mouth. So you can actually just take some old groceries sometimes. Some old chicken parts. You just let it get all stinky and rotten. And that's what we're going to be using. Because they absolutely love it. My favorite bait for them, to be honest with you, I go and get a whole bunch of minnows from the creek. And I leave them out in the sun. And I get them all dead and stinky. And then I bring them out fishing with me. Man, I cat catfish all day long doing that. I stank real bad when I come home. Let me tell you, my wife won't even let me near her. I try to hug her. Holy shit, we got a fish on, boys. Oh man, let's get this thing in here. Holy shit. It's guaranteed a catfish. You can tell by the strong fight in them. Oh man. These things do huge circles in the water. And they are really strong fish, let me tell you. Their whole body's filled with muscle. Now these things are a bottom feeder, but they're actually pretty good eating too. I like the small ones, not the big ones. The big ones get all greasy and fatty. But those little ones, they're actually real good eating. Now I'm going to get this guy in here. He might take me a few minutes because these guys are really strong, man. Look at this rod band. I hope it don't break when I'm bringing it in. I got real strong line. I'm using 20 pound test. Now these fish, they're probably going to be around the 15 pound mark. Maybe a little under, maybe a little over. Holy shnikes. Look at look, this thing. just won't come in. Holy. This is one strong fish. Holy moly. Now these things are loaded up with some whiskers on their face. Now that's because they're pretty much blind. They can't see worth of beans. So they actually use their whiskers to guide themselves around mostly. They can't see a bit, but not very much. They use the scent of smell and vibrations through the water. But they got a real mean strike on them. You definitely know when you got a catfish online, I tell you what. Oh man, this guy's getting tired. He, she's got to be. Let's get her in here. Let's see what this one's going to weigh. I bet she's going to be, I'm going to say 15 pounds. Just the way she's fighting. Oh, look at that, man. She just don't want to come in. Holy. Now, this is real fun fishing. Honestly, guys, this is my favorite type of fishing for these catfish. They have so much fight in them. Your arms get tired after bringing them in. Holy, look at the size of that fish. Holy moly. Now, we got a 14 pound, 15 ounces, I think that says. I can't read real well. 11 ounces, holy. That's a nice fish. I'm actually going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this guy for later. Now let's get this line back out in the water. See if I can see anything else out there. That don't matter. As soon as they don't need, you don't even need to see them. As soon as they smell that bait, man, they come running for it. You know, catfish, they like to bury themselves into the mud or into some rocky area. Make little nests. You find where their nest is, you'll be catching fish non-stop. Holy shit, look at all those fish out there. They're huge. And we got one on already. Yeah, boys. Let's get this thing in here. Oh, man, this is some good fishing right here. Now, I'm just fishing in the swamps. You can catch these things all through the swamp water here. I'm not going to bother showing you because it's not that important. Man, oh man, let's get this fish in here. She's going to be a good one. Look at the fight on these things. Holy moly. Now, when I go fishing for real, these things, man, they got some real sharp tentacles on the side of them. And they're real strong. You don't want to get poked with them because they'll make you bleed. They're real sharp. That's their protection. Not many things try to swallow those things when they're growing up. Now, I don't know if you guys know this either, but there is actually 
over 1,000 different types of catfish out there. Now these things are one of the strongest fish I have ever, ever witnessed. I have actually had some in an aquarium here. And that little guy, he jumped right out of my aquarium. I didn't find him till morning. Man, that fish was bone dry. He had a little bit of patch of water underneath him. Not even water, I mean like the body water on him. And that's it. He was dry and black. I picked him up. I said, holy, what are you doing, buddy, jumping out of the tank? I saw his gill move a little bit. I put that bitch back in that water. Holy moly. Three days later, he's swimming around like nothing happened. It was unbelievable. 14 pounds, 2 ounces. Oh, man, that's a big fish. I got one already, so I'm going to put that thing back. But these are one of the strongest fish I have ever witnessed. And I love fishing for these things. Let's see if we can bring one more in. Oh, man. But I actually really loved having these things in the aquarium. You can train them. I had my... Uh, they were bullhead catfish, not, cha not a channel cat. They were bullhead but man, oh man, those things would come right up to my hands and eat my worms that I'd give them. It was really, really fun having those fish in my house. It was cool. I bet they overgrew my tank, so I put them back in the creek where I got them from. Holy shit, look at all these fish. Oh, we got one on. Oh man, there. Yeah. Look at this thing fight. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think this is going to be a kitty cat, though. Look at that fight die off. Channel cats, they just keep fighting and fighting. Oh, look at this. We got a steelhead in the mix of my show. I wasn't going for steelhead today. Four pounds, one ounce. But look at that, man. That's a beautiful fish. I'm going to keep that guy. Might as well. That's a beauty. I'm going to go for one more here. Let's get one more fish and... See what this one's gonna be like. I hope it's gonna be a kitty cat though. If you guys ever have a chance to go fishing for these things, I really, really suggest you do. Because when you land one of these, you're gonna have a good time, man. You might not wanna unhook it. Because they're mean fish out of the water. They're growling and grunting at you. They breathe water. Breathe, <laughs> breathe water. Hilarious. They breathe air. Sorry, I can't talk right now. It's real early. But now I'm distracted by this massive fish on my line. Holy! Man, oh man, I love fishing catfish. For one, you can empty out your old freezer. Just let things sit in the sit in the sun. I want to get this guy away from that point. Holy, get him over here, buddy. I don't want to lose you over there. Man, look at that rod band. Man, this thing, these things are rod snappers. Man, I love catfish. These things are real fun. Oh, get over here, buddy. You're just bringing me wherever you want to go. I'm in control. I'm the boss here. Not you. Even though right now I can't get this guy in. He is not even moving. Oh, man. That's just like real life, man. These things can just sink themselves. And you don't even budge them. Sometimes you think you got a snag. But guess what? It's a massive kitty cat on your line doing acrobats in the water. Did you ever see these things swim in the water, man, when they're hooked? They got a weird swim. They're all over the place doing figure eights and everything. Oh, man, this is really fun. I really hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and having a good time catching some fish with me. Now, in this game, I really like doing some fishing. And I know they made an update, and they're going to be doing some fishing challenges. Now, I'm really excited about that. I love fishing. Holy moly, do you see that rod band? That thing was just about to snap her. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed yourselves. And thank you very much for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.